All right, guys, welcome back to Redbeard Survival and Outdoors. I am Ty, a.k.a. Redbeard. It's good to see you back. Today, we will be talking about the Guard Pro E5. It is this trail camera here. I purchased one from Amazon just to see how it was and how to see if, you know, price point wise and everything else. And ended up getting four. We got four of these. This isn't the newest model. It's not the oldest model, but it is the model that I like. Um, throughout this video, I will throw in some pictures, videos, and everything else from the trail cam. Let's talk about what you get in the box. So when you open the box up, it comes in this little box here. You open the box up, you get the strap, and then you get a cord for it on the inside. Now, when you open this up on the inside, you will see very easy, very self, it, it's just, it's simple, very simple design, SD card in the bottom, the menu options right through here, and then in the size LED, LED, or LCD screen, it's not bad. It does have two motion sensors to kick before they get to it we'll talk about that here in a minute but i do want to go over the uh, specs of this real quick so the mode you have motion detection and time lapse the uh, photo you can do photo you can do video or you can do both which is what i always have set on mine the photo quality goes from 2 megapixel to 24 megapixel the photo burst goes from 1 to 5 which i usually have mine set a little bit higher. Uh, the video quality goes from 720 to 1296p. The video length goes from 10 seconds, or I'm sorry, it, from 3 seconds to 5 minutes. I have mine set on 1 minute video. Uh, it does have a decent sound. The video format, you got MP4 or MOV. The detection delay, 10 seconds or 0 seconds to 60 minutes. The uh, PIR sensitivity, high, medium, and low, of course. Side motion sensor, which is these two down here at the bottom. You have, you can turn them on and off. I always have mine on. Uh, let's see here. The motion test. You can do a motion test after you have it set for the two bottom. That way you can see where you're supposed to be. Uh, time lapse. I'm not getting into time lapse because I haven't even tried it, so I can't sit here and disclose what it would be like. Uh, date and time. Just through the menu. Time format. Camera mode. Or camera name. You can put a camera name in it. Only four characteristics, though. So wherever you're going to put it, make sure you think of four things to say. Uh, loop recording, you can turn that on and off. Uh, the operation hours, you can actually select when you want this thing to run, which is kind of cool, but if you know exactly what you're going to be record or using this for, say you like bird watching at a certain time, set it for daytime. Uh, you can uh, set up a four-digit password. The SD card, I have a 64 in it. I'm not sure how high this goes because it doesn't tell me in here. But however high it goes, get your SD card for it. Like I said, I got a 64 in this one. And uh, let's take a peek here real quick. I have a 32 in the other ones. And you can take a boat ton of pictures. But I have this one set up. No, I'm sorry. This is a 32 in this one. So I have this thing set up to video picture. The highest quality video. The highest quality megapixel picture. Uh, the two sensors running on a minute, and I have 9,817 pictures or videos, so that is awesome. Uh, I am using a, I think it's a micro center. Yep, 
micro it's a micro center SD card they work perfect and I didn't have to calibrate it or anything uh, and speaking of calibrate the format SD you can get in there and format it if it tells you to it'll say in the beginning to format it or not so my personal review on this thing um, after going over what we talked about the sensitivities and the picture quality I would rate this thing extremely high I would rate that very high uh, not just for the price point which that is what drove me to this it is on Amazon I'll put a little picture over here so you guys can see it on Amazon it is marked by Amazon so it's one of their best sellers it's number two best seller I can't remember the other one off the top of my head but it's a second best seller on there for the functionality and everything else. This thing was $33. It was $33. Um, August, what is today? The 6th of 23, $33. Perfect camera. Great pictures, as you guys seen through the uh, pictures and everything else. Great night vision. It's, it's, it's a good camera for the price point. I would highly, highly recommend this to anybody that was looking for a budget cam uh that is where i would put this in great budget camera they do make a wi-fi and uh, a cellular one to go to your phone but where i have the location of this one i cannot use it because there i would not have any any service in that whatsoever i give it a tan budget camera perfect works great weather wise it was storming out there in one of the videos that you were watching it it did great so my review on this is perfect perfect budget camera from amazon go check it out i'll put the link in the description also to it as for me in this review I appreciate you guys watching. I am so glad you're coming along on this ride with me. Uh, and I'm going to put more content out. Check out Facebook. Um, the Facebook, I deleted the other one that I had. So I'll put down in the description where you can find this Facebook. When you follow on Facebook, shoot me a comment on anything that said followed from YouTube. Or if it's vice versa, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're coming to YouTube, or if you're watching this on Facebook and you're coming to YouTube, Send me it. Put just put in the comments. Say hey here, and hit that like button because it's hard to get it's hard it's hard to get content out for stuff that I do like this. So, as always for me, stay at the ready, and I'll see you guys on the next one.